four times a year, hundreds of volunteers descend on Monroe Park in Richmond, giving food, clothes, and even haircuts to the homeless. It's organize, organized, I should say, by a nonprofit named RVA Feed the City. It's something one Richmonder began five years ago with bologna sandwiches. Our Greg McQuaid tells us his stories in tonight's Heroes Among Us. One man. I feel obligated and responsible to do something to help. Many noble deeds. One person can definitely make a difference. Tamir Rock always considered himself a generous person, but the graphic artist from Richmond yearned to create even more goodwill. I feel like everyone has a responsibility to give back, you know, in, in some type of way. Years ago, Tamir noticed something he never thought twice about, homelessness. On Thanksgiving in 2009, he and a friend carrying bologna and cheese sandwiches walked to Monroe Park to help the less fortunate. We came out, we fed about 30 people. Tamir's small, selfless act snowballed. There was no plan to continue Feed the City every year. You know, I thought it would just be a one-time event. Today, along with hundreds of volunteers and donated items, every year it seems to grow bigger. Tamir's RVA Feed the City events provide clothing and other essentials, including haircuts, four times a year. This past year, there was a guy who hadn't had a brand new pair of shoes in seven years, and we was able to give him a brand new pair of Reeboks, and you would have thought he won a million dollars. This 31-year-old is tackling the issue of homelessness head on, certainly not for fame and fortune. Well, there's a lot of things that I get out of it. I don't make any money from doing this. It's just something I'm passionate about doing. Tamir, what kind of satisfaction do you get out of Feed the City? The satisfaction I get is the thank you, the you helped me, you changed my day, my week, my life. Tamir credits his parents for instilling in him a sense of compassion. He hopes his acts inspire others to give back. When I come out to Monroe Park, I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. We gotta change it, change it. Tamir Rock says he is proof positive one small idea can change many lives. Well, the next Feed the City event is June 1st. Tamir says his group wouldn't exist without the tireless efforts from the volunteers and all of the businesses that donate the food, clothing, and services. Next month, Tamir is taking his show on the road. He, along with some volunteers from Richmond, they're going to Los Angeles and planting the seeds for a Feed the City in California. I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News. Not limiting his good work to Richmond. Thank you, Greg. Well, if you would like to nominate a hero among us, visit WTBR.com. Click the CBS 6 Heroes link at the top of the home page. Click the hero story and fill out the form there. Then watch Greg's story every Thursday night on CBS 6 News at 6.